Hello, everyone. It's Public Service Recognition Week. This is the week to honor the dedicated federal, state, tribal, and local public servants, such as yourselves, who embody the spirit of optimism and resilience that define America. And I want to take the time today to thank all of you for your service. America's dedicated public servants are the lifeblood of our democracy. Every day, millions of public workers at all levels of government do extraordinary things to make our lives better and to make our country stronger. When we joined the federal service, whether as civilians, in the military, as elected officials, or appointed leaders, we all take an oath to support the Constitution and to defend the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and to faithfully discharge the duties of our offices. Our commitment to uphold the Constitution and the principles of democracy is something that binds us together and gives us a shared purpose. I have long admired and respected how unique public service is here at the Great Lakes St. Lawrence Seaway Development Corporation. Within the department, the GLS not only has a well-earned reputation for excellence in performance and safety, but also for being customer service focused, fostering a highly cooperative work environment, and for supporting trust and confidence among our colleagues. By any measure, this reputation reflects our incredibly dedicated workforce. It's because of you, the work you do and how you do it. In carrying out your work every day, you amplify the values of the department. Trust, excellence, fairness, empathy, and ingenuity. The hard and dedicated work that is performed in Messina, DC, and throughout the region is crucial to the local and global impact of the entire Seaway system. Thanks to your efforts, GLS is a good neighbor to our communities. You each play a vital role in this shared success, everyone in Messina, from operations and maintenance teams, vessel traffic controllers, inspectors and engineers, to our staff in finance, security, acquisitions, supply, the warehouse, human resources, and labor relations. The hard work that is performed in our Washington, D.C. office to help support all aspects of the GLS mission. It is because of our collective efforts that we so capably serve the U.S. intermodal and international transportation system by improving the operation and maintenance of this safe, reliable, efficient, and environmentally responsible deep draft waterway. In DC and around the world, I proudly speak about our team's collective commitment to environmental stewardship, and I appreciate your dedication to being a leader in this role. Your operational accomplishments continue to break records as in 2023, we saw your resilient hard work on display through the longest season and increased tonnage movement. Whether you have worked at the Seaway for decades or just joined us in the past few months, you embody what it means to be a public servant. This week, we recognize the indispensable contributions of our nation's public servants. We honor all our public workers who perform critical roles across the country and around the globe. I am so honored to serve alongside you all every day. Finally, the GLS executive team strives to provide ongoing opportunities for dialogue and transparency between the GLS workforce and executive leadership. Remember that the Ask the Administrator SharePoint page allows each GLS employee to submit anonymous questions and recommendations to me. As appropriate, 
my responses will be shared in the Seaway Soundings monthly newsletter. As always, I look forward to hearing from each of you, and thank you again for all you do.